fellow cinema enthusiasts, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today on my channel it is Classic Movie Thursdays, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's classic movie I will be reviewing is The Women. The Women is an excellent, excellent movie. It has a fabulous cast full of really great actresses. So it begins with Mary Haynes, played by Norma Shear. She is happily married. She has a young daughter named Mary, and her husband Stephen goes away a lot. He's on business. And one day she decides to go check out this new, I guess it's a salon and like all in one kind of women's center. And she sits down to have her nails done and the manicurist is gossiping away. And Mary winds up hearing that her husband has been cheating on her with a shop girl named Crystal played by Joan Crawford. And the movie kind of like gets out of hand at this point because it's just all women. There are no men whatsoever in this movie. It is just gossiping and gossiping and you know kind of like backstabbing and, and Mary's friends gossip behind her back her supposed best friend Sylvia Fowler played by the most hysterical Rosalind Russell is the number one culprit and you, know, you just have all these great characters and these great actresses coming together for Mary or kind of like stabbing her in the back as I said like Sylvia Fowler I remember watching this movie for the first time and I absolutely loved it. I had originally watched it for Joan Fontaine because I absolutely adore Joan Fontaine. This was one of her early movies before she was really well known and was cast in like lead parts. And her character is so cute. I unfortunately forget her character's name, but she was just absolutely adorable. She was like the baby of the group and she was so happy and so adorable. And, and then you have Norma Shearer as Mary Haynes. Her acting in this movie was wonderful. Uh, the, sometimes Norma Shear, her acting can not be the greatest and can get a little bit annoying, but I find that um, after her husband Irving Thalberg died, he was a producer at MGM, it was like something clicked in Norma Shear's brain like, oh my god, Irving isn't around, I think I need to really act now so I still have a job. Her acting in this movie was wonderful, she looked fantastic in everything and all the costumes that they had on her. She she just was so, so perfect as Mary Haynes. And then Rosalind Russell, as I said, she was just perfect. Nobody else could have been Sylvia Fowler but Rosalind Russell. She was so, so hilarious. And she like really makes this movie because it's like she has like out of control ADD and she's like all over the place, so in everybody's business. And there's so many good scenes that she has throughout this movie. Joan Crawford, I believe this was the first film I had ever seen her in, and I liked her acting. I had always heard from like my great grandma and my grandma, she's like, oh, I can't stand Joan Crawford, blah, blah, blah. So I went into this kind of expecting not to like her because my grandma and my great grandma didn't really like her, but I liked her. I mean, I've seen a lot more of her movies now, and I think she was a very good actress. Paula Goddard is also in this movie. I love Paula Goddard so much. No movie ever suffers when she's in it. I believe this was an early role for Paula Goddard. She wasn't like yet a really um, main actress in movies, but she was like a minor character. She did come in at the end of the movie, and she was just awesome. I, I just love Paula Goddard's attitude. I love everything about her, and she fit in so well with this movie. She has one scene with Rosalind Russell. I can't even tell you what it is, but just know that it is one of the most hilarious scenes in a movie you will ever see. So that was my review of The Women. Uh, it's one of my all-time favorite classic films. It's one that I can watch over and over again. It does get kind of out of hand and a little annoying with like all the going back and forth, all the gossiping and just it like, oh my god, it like kind of hurts your brain after a while because it is like a bunch of cackling women just going back and forth and talking really really fast and all that. I just love it. I absolutely adore everything about this movie and if you guys like classic films in any way or you just really like really good well-made movies then definitely go watch the women you will absolutely enjoy it 
So if you like my review of the women in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have seen the women, if you really, really love it, if you like any of the cast members in this, let's discuss. Leave your comments down below. And also, if you have any movie suggestions, either classic movies or any other movies, it doesn't matter. I absolutely love, love movies that you would like to see me review, leave them there. And if I pick them, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Classic Movie Thursdays and other movie reviews. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.